off the debate. Friends and fellow citizens, I want to give you my solemn word that there will be no mudslinging in this campaign, unless, of course, my opponent slings it. But I intend to stick to the issues. Now, what are the issues? There is only one. Batman. Who is he? Who is this acrobatic clown who somersaults around Gotham City in a, <laughs> in a ridiculous costume? I suggest that behind that mask, Batman is, in reality, a dangerous criminal. Why else does he wear a mask? Why else does he conceal his past? Amazing, isn't it, how often the plot of Batman is reflected in real life? Hello, it's Friday, October 24th, 2008. I'm John Paczkowski, and this is Digital Daily. So that fraudulent citizen journalism report claiming Apple CEO Steve Jobs had been rushed to the hospital with severe chest pains and shortness of breath, you know, the one that allegedly shaved about $4.8 billion off Apple's market cap, well, the SEC has tracked down its author, and it's not the short seller many had expected. It's an 18-year-old with no clear motive, according to Bloomberg, which, back in August, accidentally sent a Steve Jobs obituary out over the wires. How ironic is that? Well, the worsening econolypse is inspiring worker reductions and other cost-cutting moves across the tech industry. The latest company to take a hatchet to its operating costs? Xerox, which plans to sack 5% of its workforce, or about 3,000 jobs, in an effort to cope with a, quote, unpredictable economy. Russia's antitrust authorities have dropped the hammer, and sickle, on Google's proposed $140 million acquisition of online advertising firm ZAO Begun. Interestingly, Russia's federal anti-monopoly service blocked the deal not because it felt it would harm competition, but because Google didn't provide it with enough information to make that determination. Sounds about right for Google, right? That's it for Digital Daily. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week.